in this video i am going to explain so how we can create a microservice architecture application okay so here you can see this uh, this is a broadcasting application so we have a two candidate one is cat and other one is a dog based on to whom we cast voting it will change the result over here see for example if i cast vote for dog so here you can see this the dog having 67 vote now so if i change to cat you can see this the real team data is changing over here right so uh, behind this process uh, we have to do a lot of things there is a lot of learning curve as well so let's see how how it works and what is the architecture yeah so this is the architecture so here we can see this we have a five containers so uh, previously we were using monolithic architecture right so we were using all these containers all together one but here we are using a uh, five containers instead of all together one or monolithic so uh, let me uh, just tear down one by one so what is the purpose of each container and how this container is talking each together so first we can see this uh, this is a user so user is trying to access voting application so we have a two front end one for vote casting another one for vote resulting okay so here user can access this page and user can mark their votes so this is the page okay user can um, simply cast a vote for example dog or cat so whichever it is okay fine so second one uh, so this is the result page so this is also a front end so user can see the result okay for example if i click on dog so here you can see this dog having 67 percentage and cat having 33 percentage okay so based on this result page i'll be get the result from here fine so next we have a three more containers and uh, first red is one so this is a cashier container so what it will do so whenever we cast voting so this vote will come to redis container so from redis container this will send to our worker container so now we have to understand what is the purpose of worker container so worker container this will do a small mathematical calculation and a percentile calculation everything it will do this this dot net or this worker container okay see if you come here so when i do cat casting yeah here you can see this the cat having 67 percentage right so this worker container is doing some kind of mathematical calculation okay based on the current word count okay so this is written in python language and this is written in a .NET language and the result page is written in a Node.js language okay and rest we have a two application one is redis and this is a database postgres we use it okay so fine so first it will come to this word page so user will cache their word it will come to this redis it will cache the uh, word count maybe a b c like that and uh, from this redis this .NET container will take that result and it will do the calculation okay based on the word count so once it calculate then it will push to our database okay so we have a dedicated database vote database so this will send the data into database i'll show you the database uh, once we implement it uh, then once it done then the result page it will access the data from database okay so this is the whole architecture so let me tear down the infrastructure what i will do i will uh, remove all the container so then i'll show you how we can uh, create this from scratch okay and if you go to this repository you will also get the same uh, docker compose file and you can just go ahead and install docker and docker compose and you can execute this command docker compose then space uh, up minus d okay it will uh, run your container okay i'll share you this uh, github url in our comment section or oh, sorry in description section so you can take it from there itself fine so first let me uh, close this container so as of now you can see this uh, i don't have any containers over here right i don't have any containers everything is cleaned let me check the volume let me delete the volume as well i don't require any volumes yeah i deleted all the volumes fine so first part is we have to explain about uh, this docker compose how it works and how this connected each right so let me do one thing let me just execute this docker compose command so once i execute then it will try to create the docker file for each vote result and worker okay and that will take some time because it's a there is a time consuming part okay um so uh, meanwhile we can explain about this file docker compose file so let me just execute docker compose 
up minus d and you have to execute this command so wherever you have the docker compose or to eml okay so consider this docker compose yml file in some other directory then you have to go to that directory and you have to execute so what you can do you can clone this repository you can getting into this repository then you can execute this command docker minus compose up or up minus d it will work so let me hit end okay so now you can see this this is pulling database and redis okay so this will take some time uh, to pull and to run this containers so first let me explain this so here you can see this first we have a service under service we have a vote uh, we have a result we have a worker we have a redis we have a database total we have a five containers right yeah so under service we have a vote under vote you can see this build so what it will do so when we when i execute this docker compose file so this build command will check what is the directory of word directory so here you can see this we have a word directory under this word directory we have a docker file okay so this docker file will execute and it will create a docker image for voting application okay so once it create then it will execute this command that's what we have a command this is the application file so once it create once this image is run then it will uh, execute this command inside container okay and there is a dependency for this python application uh, here you can see this redis right so if you want to run this python application this front end application the redis should be active and running okay so that is what condition service should be healthy this voting application having a health check path so here you can see this local host okay this is the root path uh, this will just execute this command and if it is returning 200 then it will consider as this container is healthy okay but before this container is checking healthy it will uh, it should be run the redis the redis should be active uh, these are the conditions uh, in 15 second interval time mode 5 second so it will try three times the start period is a 10 second okay, this have a volume so dot slash vote slash app this is the volume okay under slash app only we have all these files python files that's what they created volume okay it can, it might not be a persistent volume but just it's connecting into a volume to run all these python files so this is the port number we hosted port number 8000 this is the container port number 80 so this container is connected with the two network one is a front end network another one is a back end network okay and uh, so next container is result so this is the path of result if i go to result so here you can see this is a docker file so the moment we run this docker compose file this will create a docker image for result and it will run so entry point not mon server.js so this is the command should be executed when it's running so this is a node.js application so this having a dependency database uh, the same as voting application so when you run this uh, result application the database should be created before so this is the condition service should be healthy uh, volume this is the volume connected with the uh, result application this is the port number we using 8001 i'm not sure what is the purpose of this maybe internal communication of the uh, you know containers okay next uh, network this result should be connected to back end and front end network then only it will work or else it will not work next is a worker application same as the result and vote we have a dot worker directory so this will come to this dot worker directory let me check what is the directory first yeah this is the directory uh, under this directory you can see this docker file so this will create a docker image for worker application this is the dependency one is redis one is db okay Be because this worker application connected with a redis and database okay so both should be up and running before this worker is running and uh, network only it's connected to back tier so now it's a redis this is a managed image uh, database postgres is a managed image so this is the image name because we now need to build it again because already we have an image in docker hub we can just pull and we can execute so this is the volume we connected this is the health check path and the interval 5 second this is the network we connected so database also this is the image and we have a two env one is a user and password and uh, this is the volume we using two volumes we using one is db data and this is a persistent volume okay this is a persistent volume because even if you lost your container even if your container is restarting you will not lose any data so the data will be stored under db hyphen data this volume uh, this is the health check path and we have only connected one uh, network back here so as of now this is not required 
and uh, we have a one volume db data and we have a two networks front end tier and back end tier that's it okay so now you can see this my all application is up and running and uh, so all are healthy all are created cool so now let's go to our port number and check it out this is the port number 8000 let me refresh okay it is working perfectly and here you can see this one volt right so what i'm going to do here i will try to open two more browser and i'll try to hit my vote from these two browser and we'll be get two unique vote from there itself so let me go to this browser and uh, i will just click on catch okay now we have a two votes let me open another browser localhost 8000 and i'm trying to vote for dog yeah now you can see that we have a three vote again and i connected i hit my vote from three different browser that's what uh, two word from uh, one word from Google Chrome, one word from our uh, Firefox, one word from uh, Safari, like that. Okay, so this is all, and you can implement the same project in Kubernetes and ECS, uh, but uh, the method will be different. That's it. So just try to do that. If you can do that, uh, at least we can make ensure. Uh, at least we got the concept how this microservice is connected. Uh, we are able to do. Okay. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Bye.